booty. Nigga flexing on you is my duty. I'm the big dog, my nickname is Scooby. Who got beef with me? Girl, you don't wanna compete. I'm too fast on my feet and you know where I be. Making you mad is my specialty. I'm the petty queen, I need you to have a seat. My dad would drill you like a cavity. And he won't let you win on his strategy. Better think twice when you come for our family. Honey it's me again. <laughs> Yo, I did that one of my old videos. That's why I did that. If you guys have me on Snap, then you would just get what I just said. But okay. Hey, Jens. It's your girl, Naya, and I'm back. Back again with another video. I know you guys like two videos in one day. We're blessed. Period. Period. I love you. You can't tell me I don't. I love you. But anyway, um, today's video is me explaining my near-death experiences. This is like a story time, whatever. Um, I almost died a lot of times because you want to know why I'm clumsy as heck. Oh, I'm feeling a little nauseous, but I'm going to keep going with this video because I love you. Period. Um... Well, my first near-death experience, I was about four or five. Um, all I know is I was shorter than four feet in the pool. Um, so, my family went to Sesame Place, right? You know that place? Um, it's a big water park. Well, I think they do have some dry rides, but I wanted to be with the big kids, um, which is my sisters. All of them is older than me. I was, like, kind of the baby at this time because my little sister, she was probably, like, one, two she was really young at this time because she's three she's three years younger than me and if i'm about like four five six seven she's mad she's mad young um and everybody i hang out with is just older than me my sisters were older than me so my, my mom told my sister she said watch out to your sister take on some rides and my sister took me on some rides with her um we was in sesame place and it was this one slide that we had went on and we Tried to go together, and they was like, no, you guys have to go separate. And my sister was like, I really want to get on this. I was like, I didn't want to seem like a chicken, period. I didn't want to seem like a chicken, even if I was younger. I said, okay, I'll go by myself. Shorty, I got on that slide. I got on that slide. I thought I was going to see Jesus. I got on that slot. I got in that water. I went under. I started panicking. I said, I didn't know how to slip. <laughs> I went under the water like... I'm opening my eyes. I can see this girl legs. Yo, I can see it right now like it happened yesterday. I saw this girl legs like she was getting out of the pool. I'm under the water still. I'm like, where's the lifeguard? In my head, I'm like, so who's going to save me? I guess I'm going to see Jesus. I was like, Jesus, I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't know what you have me here for, but I'm coming. I'm coming home. Period. And then the lifeguard come and get me out the water. I get up. I'm like, <gasps> like <laughs> yo. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> and then um, it was this other time. We still in Sesame Place. We went on this this thing, you know, the tube thing, right? Um, and we had two a uh, two people tube because it was me and my sister. I guess I sat in the front, and she sat behind me. I'm holding on to my two parts, and she's in the back. And they like, ready, say, go! And they send us down the tube, right? And then the tube gets dark, pitch black, boom. I'm like, oh, wait. Next thing I know, I'm diving head first into the water. Yo, I was under that water. I almost died. I was drowning. I was drowning. I almost died. Like, I was drowning. I was like, so nobody's going to save me? I was like, these lifeguards move a little too slow for me. As soon as you see me go into that water, you need to pick me up. I don't know why I'm under there seeing people. I'm under there. I can see everything. Not breathing. Water getting into my lungs. I need to go. They better be glad I saw a whole lot of Nickelodeon. They told me to hold my breath on the water. Because, shoot, I would have died. I would have died. <gasps> breathing all that. <sighs> I would have died. Period. Um, and then, you know, life guard came and got me out that water. I went home. Bro, I had a dream. I was sitting in the car. I had a dream. I drowned. Bro, like, I was traumatized. Like, now I can look back and laugh about it. But I was really traumatized. I didn't want to get in no water. Like, I had PTSD. I swear. I swear. I'm diagnosing myself right now. But who cares? I had PTSD. Because my sister had this thing with her job. And 
since we had to get on a boat of water, bro, I did not want to go. I said, uh uh, uh uh, I'm not going. You ain't getting me to go on that boat. And then, and then my sister was like, let's go, let's go. And she's like, I got you. You're going to be safe. And so I get on the boat with my sister. My leg is shaking. So my sister put her hand on my, my leg to make me stop shaking. I'm sitting over there. I'm like, when we go get out this water because at this point I'm not enjoying it. She she's trying to show me everything. She's like, look at the trees. Look at this. Look at that. I'm like, get me out of this canoe. I need to go. I I don't want to be in this canoe. I want to go right now. Canoe. I don't want to do it. No, no. I don't know. Like I I did not want to go canoeing. I wanted to co go. Just go. I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. Um. And then like. Um. But, like, I got over my fear of water once I got taller. Like, I'm a tall girl. So, once I got taller, I got over my fear of water. Because I was like, just stand up in this puppy. Um, but, um, yeah, that's how I almost died. And then it was this other time I almost got hit by a car. So, I'm in middle school, right? I got off the bus, headphones in my ear. I'm walking, right? And this car comes speeding up the block. Bro, this is the car. This is me. The, the lifeguards, the, um, the lifeguard, the crossing guard's like, no, no, baby, let's go. Like, she can't speak English. She, um, she, um, you could tell she's from, like, she either from DR, PR, one of those places. Like, she had the accent. She had the Latin accent. She's like, oh, no, oh, no, let's go, let's go. Like, trying to give me a hurry up. I got my headphones. I can't even hear shorty. Like, and I looked up. She's like, ay. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, ay, when the car drove past me because I want to, this is the car driving past me, and this is me. Like, she goes, Aye! And I'm walking, like, I'm like, I look back, like, what just happened? Like, and the, the guy who was driving by stuck his middle finger up at me, and she started cursing him out in her language. I said, well, then, I don't even have to do nothing. And I had to do nothing. I'm like, first of all, why are you driving that fast on the road? Like, you know the speed limit over here is only 25 miles. Why are you doing 90? Period. Calm down. Um... I almost got hit by a car a lot of times. But those are the near-death experiences that I can remember. I really can't remember all my near-death experiences. Um, because, well, it was near-death and I chose to forget it. But um, I'm really trying to remember right now. I really can't remember. Oh, there was this time I fell down the stairs. <sighs> near-death experience. It's not really a near-death experience, but I fell down the stairs. I was about five. <laughs> I was five years old. I remember I was in kindergarten. And I was going to school. It was wet on the stairs, I think, because it was raining outside. And um, people was running through in and out the building with their wet sneakers. So my sister rushed us to get to the school. She's like, let's go, let's go. Y'all late, y'all late. So I'm running down the stairs. I'm like, I'm going, I'm going. Running down the stairs. I said, slap. Boom, 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 boom. Fell, bro. Fell. Got up. My, my pants was ripped. I'm waiting, no, I think I was wearing a skirt. My stockings was ripped. And then my panties were ripped. Like my undergarments, they were ripped. My butt was red and sore and purple. Like, it was sore, bro. My butt was sore. Like, sore. It was red and purple. It was sore. And I got up. I said, I'm walking like that. And then, but I straightened up when my sister came. I said, I'm fine. She was like, well, now you got to get upstairs. You got to change. And then you could go to school again. So we get upstairs. I, I called my mama. My mom was like, you still got to go to school. I said, But you know, I went, I changed, I went to school, but hurting all that, like, period. But was hurting. I don't think my sister saw it, but I think she did see it. Either way, I fell down those stairs. I remember, I could feel the pain, right? Ooh, man. My memory is actually kind of good for some of these events, because they happened when I was, like, really young, but I can still kind of remember. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I know it's kind of short, y'all, yeah, like, girl boo what's going on i gave you two videos in one day period calm down i think tomorrow i'm gonna shoot another video though i think i'm gonna do a makeup video probably not probably going to sit down and talk to you guys again because you know i just like talking and you guys like me so we're just gonna talk period you know i got a new intro i'm feeling myself yo i watched my intro about like 50 times i watched it a whole lot that's crazy because I had a dance show, not this week, last week, um, and I watched them videos, even to this day. I watch it over and over and over and over. Every time I see it on my Instagram page, I post it on my Instagram, I watch it again 
and again, and again. I want to show everybody in my family. I'm like, look at me. I was dancing. Watch it. And every time they eyes leave the screen, I'm like, look, you're not looking. Come back. Right here. Like, I don't know. I, when I feel very proud about something, I want the whole world to know. Like, I'm just like, hey, guys, look what I can do. I'm just one of those people. And um, I also found out that I love performing. After that show, I, I was on high. I said, whoo, got to rush. Let's do it again. <laughs> want to do it again. But that was the last show of the school year. So I'm just going to sit here and reminisce. Period. But anyway, guys, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. I love you guys. And I'm out. <laughs> Peace.